Fish, smart, and welcome back to Spartan Tackle Fishing. Y'all like this video, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Now on today's episode, we are going to investigate, does chicken work as shark bait? Now, I have a couple full-time jobs and a huge family, so I'm also gonna use cow nose because I honestly don't think the chicken's gonna work. I think I'm wasting my time. I think I'm wasting my money, but as you guys are about to see, I'm gonna work really hard on actually trying to catch a shark via chicken. Not only that, I'm coming back to where it all began in Crystal Beach with my life partner, my wife. Y'all will never know how much effort, how much blood and tears it took for my wife and I to catch our first shark, a four foot black tip. Shara, say hi. Hi everyone, I'm so excited to be out here today. It's been a long time coming with three kids at home. And we just want to thank you so much for all of your support by buying our leaders and watching our videos. You know, there's so much that goes in behind the scenes that y'all don't get to see. So we're so happy for your support. Now to all the women and mothers and wives out there, I just want you to know that I'm kayaking out the baits today. Let's go. Okay guys, what we're gonna do now is, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to cut the chicken. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna hook it to my hook. I feel so ridiculous doing this. I can't believe I drove all the way out here and took all this effort to run chicken shark fishing. But we're gonna see, I'm just gonna cut it directly down the center. I'm gonna get this bag off so I can see what I'm doing here. Oh man, nasty. Okay. I'm just gonna go, like I said, right down the center, I guess. It's still frozen. Oh, still frozen. Here we go. Okay, get that skin. We're gonna keep that skin on there because everyone knows the skin is always tasty. All right, there we go. So we got two chickens. Now, let's see, I got one hook here. Now, the other hook here. I'm using the rattles on both leaders because quite frankly, I need everything going in my favor to actually land a shark on some chicken. But I'm using a half a piece of a smaller chicken. They're gonna go in through, I don't know, the drumstick. All right, I'm gonna go into the drumstick right here. Boom. See that? That's one. Okay. I'm gonna go into the drumstick right here. And I'm gonna go little deeper. This meat is softer than I thought it would be. Okay, there we go. Now obviously I'm gonna be replacing the baits as necessary probably every two or three hours because this is gonna get crabbed out. Anyways, you guys sit tight for some kayaking. Looking in your eyes, I know that all I need is by my side. When everything is wrong, you make it right. The only one who brings me back to life. All right, guys, time for the first run on the chicken. Sharon's gonna do the second one. Now, I'm gonna just quickly explain how I'm kayaking. I'm always going into the current, okay? So I'm going that way into the current. I'm just taking my weight here, putting it right there. 
right? Holding it down like this, okay? Taking the chicken right here, putting it right in back of the kayak, okay? And I'm going, remember, that way. Shara's up there, wave Shara. Let's go. Days with you, you. When I'm ready to play the bait, I just go sideways to the beach. Take the bait here, okay? Make sure the weight legs are done back. Drop the weight first. Okay, slide to the chicken and then throw that away. That's it. Easy peasy, Shara, your turn. Chicken, you ready, baby? Yeah, I'm ready. Woo, get Woo. some, honey. Yeah. yeah, there we go, there we go. All right, let me get up there. Hold on, hold on, honey. Okay, she's dropping it now. Okay, so she's removing it now, she's dropping the bait. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for that weight to sink a little bit before I start to tighten up that line. So don't just tighten it up right away, do it after it sinks because you'll just pull the weight in otherwise, okay? Anyways, so we're gonna tighten these up right now and then I'm gonna start putting some Ray out and hopefully we actually catch some sarks. We got our first hit on Ray. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Pop them, pop them, pop them now. Go. Stars are filling up the sky. You take my hand in yours. We'll make our own constellations. I could say how much you mean. All right, you guys, we're hooked up. Not on the chicken, no. We're hooked up on the Southern Ray. As you saw, I set hook when it was pulling for about 20 seconds because of the size of the bait. Now this one was a little bit further bombed out, but still not a good sign for that chicken. As I said, I think we're wasting our time. Anyways guys, sit tight. We're gonna leader this fish in, de-hook, and we're gonna keep going. Sit tight. All right, we're gonna de-hook. This, uh, we got a bull shark, probably about a five foot bull shark. This is on the southern ray, not the chicken. So I'm gonna come up from behind. That's how I do it. Step on both fins, bang out the barb with this. No one's ever seen, no one's ever seen, ever seen the love like this. Hooks on this side, I'm gonna hit here. The barb just came out. All right, guys, we're gonna get this. Uh, we're gonna cut now. On me. We're gonna cut now so we can get this back in the water and measured real quick. We'll see you soon. All right, guys, as you saw, we got one bull shark. I didn't necessarily think the chicken was gonna work, but at least we know there's sharks here. At least we kind of have that variable taken out. I'm gonna uh, send it to Shara right now to give you guys an update, kind of just where we're at right on the rack. Let's go. Oh yeah, one more thing. I'm going all out with the chicken. I'm trying hard like I told you I would. Shara, let's go. So right over here on this black 80, we've got some Southern. And then on the gold 50, we've got a half chicken. And then Travis is about to kayak out a whole chicken on this blue 80. And then on this gold 50, we've got another half chicken. Back to you, Travis. All right, you guys, I'm going all out. Like I said, I want three lines chicken, one line Southern. Three lines chicken, one line Southern. I just want to put some extra effort just to really see if this works. I'll be happy with just a run. Let me show you what I'm doing. 
I'm running a whole chicken, baby. Whole chicken, baby, right here. And I'm bombing this too. So we're going all out for you guys. Again, if we just get a run, I'll consider that a success. But you guys stay tuned. Here we go. We're out here. A good ways. Bend this leg back. Drop it. Let it go down. Here's our chicken, boys and girls. Wish us luck. That's it. For all the glory. For all the glory right there. Woo! All right. Ever seen, ever seen a love like this? It could be. All right, you guys, we're gonna conclude this episode right now. As you saw, the chicken was not successful. It was a complete waste of time, as I thought, which is why I said it, that in the beginning. But it was still fun getting out here, you guys. What do you think, Shara? Yeah, I knew the chicken wasn't gonna work. I always say it's only crab bait, so. But we had a good time, and you know, I loved coming out here with my husband for the first time in I don't know how long, so it's been great. Let's keep shark fishing about family, and we'll see you later. All right, you guys, it's even more pointless to run chicken than I thought. Like the bait lasts maybe like an hour before it gets crabbed out. Look at the chicken. Man, that's only been out there for, I don't even know. Whew. Unreal, unreal. Like I said, we tried. Till next time. Up in the light, I'm falling. Tripping to the night, I'm all in. Drifting in your tide, we're flawless. I can't help but think about it all night. And I took a thousand nights to run away. This feeling is swift like a river.